What's up guys and welcome back to another video and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys basically how to download um, and add a Minecraft map or texture pack or add-on basically anything you want to call it into your Minecraft world any kind of asset so I feel like this is gonna be really useful for a lot of people that's why I'm making this video I hope it helps you out a little bit so if you are this is for the bedrock version of Minecraft so if you are on iPad or let's say Xbox or phone, whatever you want to call it, other than PC, I'm really sorry, I would suggest find a different tutorial. This tutorial is mainly just focus on PC um, players only because I am on like Chrome and stuff and I'm going to be showing you how to download it through PC. So if you are on PC, this is going to be great. I really hope you enjoy it. I hope it helps you out a little bit. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how to download a Minecraft map, um, how to download a texture pack, and a behavior or add-on, whatever you want to call it, into your Minecraft game. So this can definitely increase the gameplay a lot more if you want to change up your texture packs and stuff. So I knew this was definitely quite hard for me to learn how to do that at first. So there wasn't that many tutorials around, so I hope you helped by this a little bit more. And the timestamps will be in the description as well if you would like to just skip around the video a little bit if you just are looking for a specific tutorial part in the video. So yeah, that's basically all we have. If you want to go check out the maps in the texture pack that I'm using in the tutorial, it will be in the description below. And you may have seen I'm not using my face cam. I didn't want it to get in the way, so I'm not going to be using it for this video. So yeah, I believe that's everything we have, and I hope you enjoy it. hope it helps you out, and we're going to go straight into this video. Tutorial, sorry. <laughs> I said the wrong thing. It's my Alright, so the first thing, I'm going to show you guys the website that I download all of my things off of. So it's called mcpedl.com. So it will be in the description if you would like to go visit it, but yeah, it's literally just that. So we're just going to hit enter here, and then you could, I'm just going to show you around a little bit of it, but it's got a ton of stuff. It's definitely the least scammy and best site I've found. So right off the bat, you can see all these little drop-down menu things here. We've got start. No, no idea what that does. I think it just... I think it just pulled up the home page actually. Uh, it's got mods, it's got maps, it's got servers, skins, texture packs, and seeds. It's got literally stacked full of stuff. And if you would go over maps, you can see there's tons of different parkour maps, puzzle maps, tons of different sections for downloading stuff. But I've already got the thing I want to show you guys as a tutorial example. So we're going to be showing you guys right now on actually how to download a Minecraft map. So made by other people, of course. So here we go. This one, you can see the title just right here. So it's a good Minecraft. Um, a good survival house. Basically, it will just add this house into your Minecraft world. So it's got a little bit. If you do want to read about it here, he's had some reading things that shows the creator's name, and it has the pictures that he's pointed out. Um, sometimes it will have actually have a video here, which is kind of cool. So here's the thing. Here's where you download it. So don't get these are all ads and stuff. Don't get confused by these. If you see that little symbol, that means it's an ad. So even if it says download or whatever, don't click on that. It's a complete scam. You'll most likely get a virus. So if you keep on scrolling down, you'll see comments down here to just see how good the thing is. Here's the creator, him talking back. If you have any suggestions or any things you want to help him with. So right onto downloads. Right here is going to be where your actual official downloads are. All right, all you actually have to do is click it. And there's one more thing I want to point out. The downloading process is going to be completely different for all of you. So, well, this specific thing, you'll probably, if like you're downloading the same map as me, you'll get the same thing. But... Most likely. So if you do get Mediafire as your download, you're lucky. It's the safest thing to download. But if you get AdFly, be careful because a lot of things, there's a lot of scam things like saying, oh, click on me, and it'll just download a virus. So be super careful with this. So Mediafire definitely is the best one. If you see a big download green button right here, you're totally safe. And I do want to point out again, if you see this little symbol and it's saying like download or whatever, you can tell automatically it's an ad. So just just have common sense <laughs> so I'm just gonna click download right here and it'll automatically start downloading see this scam got to exit it out and it'll finish downloading right here well once it finished downloading then if it's a dot MC world all you'll have to do is click it and it'll automatically open up your minecraft world and import it so even if you don't have minecraft open it'll work all right so let's say level import started and then it will go away and say level import successfully finished if it did work correctly. All right, sorry if it lagged there for a second, but now all you have to do is click play. 
that simple. Scroll down and your world will automatically be here. Here it is. Now, it may take you a second to find it if you have like 100 maps, but here it is. So, it's a good survival house. So, you can see this one basically just makes a Minecraft world. So, I'm just going to yeah make sure no one can join. So, I'm just going to click play right here and you'll go straight into your world. Or I can just, I can, where am I at? There we go. I can just click it here. <laughs> there we go. All right, and here we go. You have successfully downloaded a Minecraft map off of the website into your Minecraft, um, in, and you're able to play it. So it literally works the same thing as a normal world. You got all your settings. You're all good. So I'm just going to go inside the house. I don't even know what this map is, but what? there's a lever. What does this do? What? Oh, that's kind of cool. I like that. But, <laughs> but yeah, that's actually all there is to it. Now, the next thing we're going to go on to is how to download a texture pack, which basically changes every single block in your world to what the creator desires it to be. All right, so now I'm going to show you guys how to download a texture pack. So if you don't know what a texture pack is, a texture pack is basically an art style that someone made. Um, as a texture pack so other people can download. So it just basically changes almost every single thing um, into your world from normal vanilla, normal classic Minecraft look into something totally different. So this makes it all into, what is with those hands? Oh, that's terrifying. Oh my gosh. So this one looks like it's a really cool medieval pack. It looks like he put a ton of work into this. So this is a Von Doomcraft texture pack. That's the name of it. And it's 64x64. That's just the resolution. You can see more resolutions in other texture packs right here. You can see the lowest one is 16. The highest one is 128x128. That's actually huge. And it also got shaders, which is pretty cool. So you can actually see on fate how many people share it on Facebook. Um, sorry, with the map you also can, but I forgot to tell you. So sorry. Um, you can see that 265 people actually shared this on Facebook, this pack. So that's really cool. Um, shows how many tweets, how many people just shared it overall. 3,000 people. So you can definitely see that this is a good pack. So you can also share it with your friends on Twitter and stuff, which is, looks really cool. Um, tells a little bit about it. Shows the creator. And yes, yeah, so we're going to go right down here. Oh, thank you so much. It's got an MC pack. Good. So I told you it was the most common. So you can download a dot .zip if you want to, but... Download that MC pack, please. <laughs> so let's see the comments. Oh, only 12 comments, actually, but looks like really good reviews. You can see how many stars they've done. So we're just going to download it right now. See, all of this is fake. Don't don't buy it. Okay, so I'm just going to download it right now. There we go. Mediafire. Thank you. Thank you so much. We're going to download it right now. So, nope. See, X that out. That's not good. <laughs> so it's going to start downloading right now. Now, texture packs can take longer than maps. So you can see. It's taking a lot longer to download than a normal map would. So once it's finished downloading, you can just click it. It'll open Minecraft and do the same thing as when you download it to a map. There we go. Level import started. And then it'll go away. And then successfully imported Vandukraft. Why do I tur always turn into an ice cream cone? <laughs> Ah. All right, so now I'm going to actually show you guys how to equip the texture pack that you just downloaded. So you just want to click play, um, and of course it's not a map, so it's not going to be any of these. Uh, you just want to click the little pencil drawing two, two little weird lines here um, to the map that you do want to have equipped it. So I'm just going to do it to the map that we just downloaded previously here. Um, you want to scroll down and click resource pack. So again, resource pack is the same exact thing as a texture pack, just a different name. All right, so if it was downloaded correctly and it didn't have any flaws or any bugs in the pack, then it will show up right here, um, probably at the top of the list. So all you have to do is click it and click the plus, and it will automatically jump up to active packs. So that means that the packs that are working in your world at the time. So it's that easy. If you click play right now, all your blocks in your world will automatically change to your texture pack. It's so incredibly easy. So the next thing, right here, if you see this little check here, I just want to give you guys this as a bonus. Um, if you do click that, that means that your texture pack, if your friend joins your world, it'll give him an option if he wants to download the pack that you're using on your world or not. Again, he can say no if you don't want him to or or if he doesn't want to. So if you do want to have the same texture pack, then just check this little thing right here and that works incredibly great. So th that's one way of doing it. So that's just the way if you want to add it to a specific world. But let's say you want to add it if you're joining a friend's world or if you're joining a realm or a server. Now, obviously, you can't, like, edit a server and put that little thing in here like this can. 
um, to like activate it. But so there's a different way of doing it. Just have it always active if you join any world. You don't need to do any settings. So here's how you do it. You just want to click settings here. You want to scroll down. You want to go to global resource packs this time. Um, now you won't be able to find this if you're editing a map or anything. So click the same map. Click plus just like you did before and you want to back out. Now sometimes these texture packs will actually have background changes. Like they can change the background. They can edit the buttons. They can do anything when you have it as a global resource pack. So now if you click play and you go into a random world that you don't have it equipped like by the pencil thing, it'll still be activated. If you join a realm or if you join a friend, it'll still be activated. If you join a server, it'll, guess what? It'll still be activated. We're good. We Gucci here. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so if you, I join the hive server right now, it'll have the pack activated. So it's super useful if you do want to just join any kind of thing. So first, I'm just going to go into our survival world to see what it looks like um, right here. It's, see if it worked. Oh, there we go. It worked. Working actually really good here. So yeah, most... I do want to tell you guys, um, oh, oh, by the way, I'm sorry if it lags in the bad quality of Minecraft right now. It probably looks terrible for you, but... The pack actually does look a little plasticky, so this isn't just my quality, by the way. So, not all texture packs will work, and not all behavior or mods or add-ons or whatever will work. Um, this one does. I mean, I mean, look at that face. That is, that is, it's great. Good job, chicken. Good job. So, Minecraft, of course, will run normal as usual. But yeah, it's the same exact world as we had before. Just the things are changed. So, this is a pretty low resolution of thing. I mean, if you would get the... 128x128 ones like I was showing you, then it'd probably be better, but I mean, this doesn't look that bad. A lot of them are like this, so, I mean, I mean, it's made up by little tiny pixels. What are you going to expect? But, yeah, I would definitely play a world on this. Um, I would like to see those villagers, though. Where are they at? All right, so apparently this pack, the villager got, villagers got a little bug, just like what I was saying. This person probably made it for a different version of Minecraft than I was in. So it's probably a little older of a texture pack. So not all things is going to completely be compatible in work. So yeah, this is one thing you got to deal with. Like me, the sky changed and it didn't change now. That's what you got to deal with. So um, what what the heck is, what is that? That's strange. I think that's cobweb. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Look at that chicken. You are beautiful. So even some of the packs, they will even actually change. I'm in survival. Some of the packs will actually even change um, the items that you're holding, like different looks in your inventory. So if I would get like a sword right now, like look how cool that looks. That's actually pretty sick. Look at that. <laughs> I, I'm actually liking this pack. But that's all we have. So I hope, you, hope this helped you out with the texture packs thing. So now you can download a world and you can get a texture pack straight into it. So the next thing we're going to go over and probably about the last thing is behavior packs or add-ons. That means it changes how the Minecraft works. So maybe they can make a villagers attack you. Just different kinds of things like that. So... I hope this helped you, and we're going to go straight on to how to install behavior packs. Alright, so this is how to download um, behavior packs or add-ons. So, I'm going to be down downloading the trophies pack. So, this basically just adds a bunch of trophies into your world, which is pretty cool, actually. I love getting trophies. Uh, <laughs> but, so yeah, if you don't know how a add-on works, because this is an add-on, most of them will just be add-ons. So... Yeah, it basically just adds these into your world, but it has to take over a block that's already there. I'm pretty sure these takes over spawn eggs. So this might be a cow. This might be a creeper. We don't know. So it does, it's not the same as a mod. A mod makes a brand new item into your game and doesn't replace anything. This does replace stuff, but unfortunately for Bedrock at the time, there's only add-ons. I'm yet to see any kind of real actual mod that makes a new thing. But if you do have something, please send it to me. I'd love to I'd love to see it. So you can see this one's pretty new. So this is August 27th, 2019. This one was made by. So it's fairly new. So I have to test this out. It works great. This is scroll down until we see. Again, you can get it at .zip or .mc. Thank you so much. Um, oh yeah, the supported Minecraft versions. Don't worry about that. That doesn't really do anything at all. You can see the comments down here. So that person, the creator, actually does respond to a lot of things. So that's kind of nice, actually. So yeah, the Minecraft supported versions, it's not actually always accurate. Don't trust that. Just try it out for yourself. So we're going to down download it right now. If you do want to see the installation 
um, how to do it, but you're watching my tutorial, tutorial, you're good. You don't need to read. <laughs> so I'm just going to download it. MC, there we go, Mediafire, thank you. All the good, really, really good um, assets, like texture packs and stuff to add, is going to be Mediafire, because the people that know that know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. All right. So behavior packs probably takes the longest of all of them, but this one did not. Never mind. Um, I'm just gonna click it, and we're gonna go, and it's gonna download normally how the texture pack did or the Minecraft map did. All right, it's gonna say input started, and then right after, there we go. It successfully imported trophies BP. Now, if it does say error, that means most likely the pack doesn't work, or it's a duplicate and you already have it installed. Why am I an ice cream cone? What the heck? All right, so this basically works the exact same way as the texture packs do to get set up. So you want to click play. You want to click the little edit pencil button to um, next to the map that you want to be linked with or hooked with. What? Um, I'm just going to do the map that we downloaded previously. And instead of going to texture packs, we're going to go to behavior packs because we're like changing the behavior of Minecraft. I think that's why they called it that. Yeah. Um, so you want to click the plus here. If it's not flawed or anything, it will show up. You want to, or not the plus. You want to click it first and then click the plus. So this is the sad thing about this. This isn't the pack doing this. This is just Minecraft. Apparently, Minecraft doesn't want us to earn achievements if we have like the behavior packs equipped. It. So we can't get achievements if we have it equipped. It. So you just want to click continue. I mean, it's not really going to mess up your world. It's just you won't be able to get achievements. So... Even if you unequip the pack, it still won't work. So this entire world, you'll never get bit, get achievements again. So be cautious with that if you're trying to get achievements. So you got that equipped. Now, if you some of some of the behavior packs also has texture packs with it. Actually, a good amount of them do. So if you click the texture packs here, um, it automatically had it equipped. It like it automatically equipped the um, compatible one with this one with with doing the behavior pack one. So why is this checked? I don't know. Okay. So once they're both equipped, or maybe there's just a behavior pack needs to be equipped, then um, all you have to do is click play, and it should automatically open your world, and you should be fine. But before we open it up, now sometimes you do need to download the texture pack separately with the behavior pack. So like you might need to download the texture pack like on the downloader site, like on the site. Um, you need to download the texture pack equipped it and then download the behavior pack then equipped it sometimes it does have to be like that so if you know what i'm even talking about so let's click play and make sure it worked and add trophies onto our world all right so once you're in your world it's, of course it's not going to look any different so it's actually going to be in your inventory as an item now can can you believe that can, sir can you can you believe that? I know you can't. It's crazy. So if you click E, and then, of course, you're not really going to know um, what block it took over unless the site told you. So I'm just going to scroll down until I find it. Did I pass it? I think I passed. Where? There we go. There we are. So I'm not sure if it took over a spawn egg. I'm actually... I don't think it did, did it? No, I actually don't know what kind of thing or what kind of block it reformed into. But yeah, so let's just get the Diamond Tennis Trophy. So it can change the name, too. Completely changed the name, which is pretty cool. And let's get let's get the diamond trophy. Just look at them, and let's get the silver hockey trophy. So you can place them down, and it actually made them into an actual item. So here's the trophies here. Those are actually looking awesome. So can you push them? No, you can't push them. So they're actually like solid, and you can you can place them on stuff, which is kind of cool. Um, do I hit them? Oh, okay. So it must be some kind of entity because they get hurt. <laughs> so it's some kind of entity it took over, but that's actually really cool modeling how they did that, and it worked. It's that simple just to get any kind of thing in your world. So, again, behavior packs are probably the hardest thing to find them that work, but this one works, which is really, really good. But a lot of them probably won't, mainly just because Minecraft versions keep on changing, but this one worked great. Uh, I don't believe there's anything else I need to say um, other than that you can actually um, have a texture pack and the trophy things on. You can have more than one texture pack on at once, and you can have more than one behavior pack. So I could have, like, cows turning into um, giant cows or, like, huge heck cows and have the trophies. So that's really cool. So I'm just going to leave the thing here, and let me just... Let me just save and quit. So you actually can't have more than one thing um, equipped it at once. So if I would like equip this too, it would work. Now you can actually do these down arrows. 
because whatever's on top, some like sometimes it will get bugged out unless you have this below or something. You're never really gonna. You may kind of have to finick with it a little bit, which one's best. But if you put this on top, that means I think most of everything is gonna be looking to that to change. Like it kind of overpowers the trophies. I guess. I guess that's what you'd call it. I don't know. Is that the wording? <laughs> I don't know. So it's your behavior pack or your add-on. Let's say, again, you want to have that add-on enabled when you join a Friends of the World, or if you join a server. So you can do the same exact thing. You can go to Settings, you can go to Global Resource Packs, and instead of doing a Texture Pack, you can also do a Behavior Pack. So the only thing here is I don't, I don't think there's a way to actually enable um, the Texture Pack with it. Like, because it, it needs a Texture Pack and a Behavior Pack. I think this maybe is just a Behavior Pack. I think it may pair up, I don't know, you'll have to test out to see if it, see if the textures just disappear, but, yeah, so all you have to do is equip it, click the back thing, um, you can't have the, as many packs in the global as well, so, once you're done, and then I can go on a server right now, and whatever object that add-on took over, it will turn into it, so, I could go onto this person's server and there could be trophies everywhere, I don't know. I don't know what it's going to show. So that actually works incredibly well. They did a really good job with this. But yeah, so I could have that equipped as well and it'd work. So it's pretty self-explanatory, a lot of this. I just wanted to give this a little hindsight of how it worked. So I believe that's everything we need to say. I'm probably going to try to work on the what to do on how to get a .zip file into your world. Like if there's a .zip map and it doesn't just automatically download like how I was showing on how to actually get it in the list. So that's a totally different video. That will probably be in the description. Maybe it actually is a good chance there won't because I'm not sure when I'm going to have time to record that. But if this is like a brand new video for you, it probably won't be there. If it's an old video like a year ago, then it'll probably be there. So I believe that's everything that I need to say. I hope this enjoyed. I hope I hope you enjoyed, and I hope this helped you a little bit, because it is literally 1.31 a.m. at night, and I'm recording this video because I really needed to get it done for tomorrow. So, I hope this helped you out a little bit. If you do have any questions, please comment down below, and I'll be definitely sure to come and help you. So, I hope I didn't miss anything, and I'll see every one of you wonderful people in the next video. See you guys. Peace. Make sure to like and subscribe. <laughs> Oh wow, I'm that YouTuber now.